In this recording, we're going to talk about map service and feature service extents. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a map service to my drawing. And I see I have um, different choices for how much of a map I want to see. And I'm going to use the default, which is the um, set the service extent to the initial extent, which is essentially how in ArcMap the map was published. So I see a portion of this map. And if I zoom out to the full extent, of my map extents, I, I only see a portion of the data that's there. I can use the uh, map service properties pane to change my extents to the full extent, and so this would cover a ma the map for all of the data that's included in the map. And when I zoom out, you see I, I see more of the map than I saw previously. Um, and if I zoom in here, I'll show you another way to set the, the extents of the map. I can go up here to the ribbon, um, and with the current map service set as the default, that defines um, my service by the current view, or the extents of the service by the current view. When I hit the Zoom to Extents button, it limits it just to that area of the map. Um, next, let me go ahead and um, zoom in here. And I want to add. Um, another map service that covers a much larger area. And so if I go out to ArcGIS Online, um, I can pull in a, a map that covers the entire globe. In this case, I'm going to pull up um, imagery or pull in imagery from ArcGIS Online for the entire globe. So now I have a dynamic map service that um, you know, essentially covers the whole globe. So when I zoom out, I see the the imagery for that larger area. Now, if I were to um, set my current map to world imagery and then hit the Zoom Extents button, it's going to zoom me out to the entire globe, and that's not really what I want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in and then set the map extent for world imagery just to this area that I'm looking at here. So if I zoom out any farther, I won't see any more imagery. And then when I zoom to extents uh, with the world imagery as my current map, then I zoom to this area. Next, what I want to do is I want to talk about another type of service, in this case the feature service, and how extents help me work with feature services. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in some meters, but I don't want all the meters in the geo database. I just want those in my current view. So I, I typically use the current view when working with feature services to just get those um, vectors in my drawing that are in the area that I'm working. I want to show you a, uh, a situation here. So I have the, the meter vectors in that area in my drawing. Uh, I want to show you the case where if I am adding features that, that extend outside of that initial extent, I can still add them to the to the geo database and add them to server, but I won't see the vectors come back um, after I synchronize. So I'm going to go ahead and add some meter features outside of my extents. Um, this is the extents that I've chosen to view the vectors in my drawing, and I say synchronize, and I add those to the geo database. You see, the map service is going to go ahead and paint those. Um, meters that I've added with the new symbology from server, but I don't see the vectors uh, come back into my drawing, and that's because they're outside of my feature extent. I can remedy that by changing the, the feature extent um, to the current view um, with the button on the ribbon, and now I see, now my extent includes those newly added features, um, but, but just those uh, meter features that were in my view when I set the extents. So there it is, working with extents.